Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I know you say you, um, you're working to make your mama proud. And I, I know a lot of people, a lot of men are usually mama's boys. So um, that's what you're doing now. But back then when your mom's car was being shut up, and the reason why I'm asking a lot of these type of questions because you have young kids out here who are not thinking about mom, who's not thinking about a sister, who's not thinking about the dangers of the life. Um, back then you weren't thinking about that. Why, why not? Oh, I was thinking about that, but it's a big difference. My parents didn't know what we were doing. They didn't catch on. They didn't so even know. when her that car was got by shot the end, up. by the end, it was too late. They didn't know nothing about us sneaking out the back window. It was a revolving door. We was 14, 15, 16, 17. Hey, it, it was better uh, going to jail where you got your own bed. Sometimes it crowded, but everything I always did. See, I wasn't a, just a gangbanger. I've always, uh, we didn't have the things to do. Uh, identity theft, sell dope, uh, credit cards, oh, a whole fluctuation of things that you can do to hustle. You had mm -hmm. to basically go and take it mm -hmm. and get it. So everything I did, I did in the sense that I'm taking this to give my mama a better life. See, a lot of people, I don't rob jewelry stores, gave everybody fur uh, rings and watches, fur coats, all this. But I didn't think of it as hurting my mama because I'm only thinking it's hurting me mm -hmm. at that age. So you're right, at that aspect, 14, 15, 16 year old, I knew I was a basketball player. Ranked number one, but it was the choices I made at that time. So in hindsight, uh, I feel that the time that I did going to jail, it should have been more worth it to be with my mom. Mm -hmm. To see the look in her eyes, uh, the hurt as her only son, and a lot of men. Mark, mom passed, and every day uh, he's talking and he's reminded of her, and he keep her legacy going on. So. It's a something that, you know, is hurtful, and we just try to make our parents proud, uh, mm -hmm. at least I do. I know, because that's, that's what I always ask, because even like in Texas, you heard about the shooting with um, Mo3, when Mo3 got, did you hear that one? Yeah, somebody came and okay, talked about it. I to make sure you heard that. Mm -hmm. No, because um, a lot of times when things happen, we're beef, even with um, celebrities or just anybody have beef, I always wonder you keep pushing this beef keep pushing this beef with this other person but you're not thinking about you have a wife or a baby mom or a mother that if they don't come get you they're going to come get them and you're putting them in danger too so here you having an argument whether for clout because that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays just for the ratings the views the all of that why don't you think about them because after you're dead and gone, you're leaving them in a situation because I guarantee you, not like your mom, your mom put insurance on you. Not everybody think ahead like that, putting insurance on a person when they're doing something like that. You know what I mean? To make sure that I'm safe, I'm secure, I, I can take care of these kids. Why don't they think about that? Well, uh, the streets, the only thing stronger than a man's pride is a mother's love. A man will swallow every type of pill it is to stay alive, but they won't swallow their pride. Well, so many men have lost their pride or lost their life uh, to where all they had to do was step back. Mm -hmm. But they chose to go through uh, conflict resolution at its most extreme, which usually ends up in a death. And I, I hate that because in my, the older I get, and this is what I always say on this platform, because you, you don't ever know who is listening. It's always how you perceive something, because a lot of these arguments is always caused by, you say something and you may not even mean it in a bad way, but I perceive it in a bad way, so I'm reacting. And it caused, and you don't like the way how I reacted. You're not saying to me, well, how did you mean it by, you know, and resolve it in a decent way. That's how miscommunication happens every day, even in relationships or friendships or whatever, where, and we've had somebody on our show who, 
he 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 was good friends with um, another gentleman, and the one got shot, and because the other one never reached out to him, but he didn't even know that he had gotten shot. So he was mad at him because he didn't reach out to him, but he didn't even know that he had gotten shot, and he wasn't talking to him just because of that. Mm-hmm. Till one day, eventually, he reached out, and he's like, but I didn't know. You mm-hmm. know, but something simple like that, and you're mad at somebody, pick up the phone and call. Just because somebody don't call you, pick up the phone and call and say, hey, did you hear about X, Y, Z, or, you know? And that's how it should be on the internet. A lot of guys air their personal disputes on the internet. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.